The Pattern Analysis and Computer Vision Department, in short PADIS, deals with uh, activities in computer vision, pattern recognition and machine learning. Our research addresses several real-world applications dealing with image and video analysis, recognition and understanding by designing methods grounded by solid mathematical theory. Our main applicative scenarios are related uh, to video surveillance and security and biomedical image analysis, especially the analysis of neuroimaging data. We perform uh, this research in collaboration with uh, other uh, research groups in academia and also with industry, and we also some interdisciplinary projects with other IT departments, especially in neuroscience. Our currently, 30 people, including PhD students, maybe engineers and computer scientists, and a couple of mathematicians. Uh, I'm working mainly with the images, so trying from images to reconstruct uh, the 3D information of the world. And here in IT, I work in. Uh, in, uh, in collaboration with different fields uh, like uh, the people in nanoscience uh, reconstructing 3D cells we use in microscopy formation from neural uh, um, detection and reconstruction of, uh, of neurons and its connection and towards reconstructing all the re uh, real world uh, images and also the motion of humans. Uh, my research topic is about the reconstruction of a 3D environment from multiple images from different point of views. A possible application could be to give the capability to a device or a robot to recognize the surrounding environment. My project starts from a collaboration with the Neuroscience and Brain Technology Department here in IIT. They take care of the data acquisition part from dissociated neural cultures coming from mouse brain. What we do here in Pavis is trying to put together these two multimodal information, so the electrophysiological signal involving signal processing and the microscopy data. So we are trying to uh, have an estimation of the structural connectivity of the network. I'm working with my colleague here in Pavis for transferring the knowledge we developed for a video surveillance system in uh, a solution for the market analysis. We are receiving some positive feedbacks from them, so it seems we will start uh, testing our solution in some retailer shop. Currently, we are working on uh, photometric stereo technique, which is a method based on uh, digital image uh, as uh, input data. The final goal will be actually a 3D scanner prototype, uh, which will be able to phase uh, uh, 3D shape reconstruction in, uh, in many frameworks like uh, biomedical imaging, uh, computer graphic tools, uh, and so on. Talking about uh, biomedical imaging, it will be very, very useful to use this kind of technique uh, for endoscopic purposes. Currently, we are following the dual cam project, an innovative sensor made up of a, a standard video camera and an array of microphones that produces an acoustic map of the of the environment. We are trying to focus on automated surveillance with this kind of innovative sensor. Our goal is at the moment to implement the algorithm on very high performance boards that are called FPGAs in order to, to build a standalone device that could be tested also in outdoor environments. Uh, last summer we won a startup competition, in particular the Smart Cup Liguria 2013 edition. In the next future, our goal is to reduce the dimensions of the dual cam to a portable size. And our dream in the next few years is to see the dual cam on the market. My work consists on trying to apply research algorithms in real environments. A concrete example could be that of tracking people in large video surveillance networks, like in a subway system, something that can be of use to solve crime or terrorism investigations. For doing that, we use a technology called re-identification that allows us to track the same person across multi-camera networks. For each detected person, we build a mathematical representation of the appearance of the person which use the symmetries and asymmetries of the human body plus a representation of the color distribution of its clothes. Our vision, or our dream if you like, is to study the behavior, especially the non-verbal human behavior. In a sense, we want to extract quantitative measures of behavior, which is useful for video surveillance security, but also to study pathologies like autism and schizophrenia. 
In parallel, we want to, uh, in a way, to find out uh, the neural correlates of such behavior so that we can study uh, the underpinnings uh, of the social brain function.